He's always going into it. Yeah, right. vi Ooh. vibes on pause right now as we go right on to Odyssey versus King Ark. Who tilt? I feel like it's been forever since I've seen King Ark. We actually took this man out of stasis. <laughs> Decides to mess around, get top three in dubs, first saga back. Continues to stay popping off. We'll see how we can do against Adi. Yeah, I respect King Ark's hustle. Staying with the faithful solo Mega Man. Mega's a phenomenal character. I feel like the two characters that are on screen right now are like the slept on characters. <laughs> that ooh. Oh, she ran. She said, oh, helper's <laughs> here? <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's Poppy right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I like uh, how Mega Man transitioned from four into this game because it, it, it kind of feels like he still does the same thing he does before. No, yeah, the they thing made is, some of his moves stronger. Like they made forward air like an actual kill option. They made back air an even more reliable poking tool and still a kill option. And in general, like. Oh, Leaf Shield, that's another move that got blessed. They had to nerf that thing like six times. Oh, well, yeah, it's still it's still good. They, they stay nerfing that move because <laughs> they, they just can't let Mega Man have nice things. And he's still a great character. What a duck under that Metal Blade. That was cute. Mega Man got to check to tie his boots. He's heavy. And also, he's heavy, too. Like, you're not going to die to, like, moves like that. Peach, you would. Yeah, no, Mega Man is just, like, the perfect mix of what a character wants to be in Ultimate with, while still having his own identity. Like, a lot of people who try to, like, test out other characters, they dabble in Mega Man, good toss from Adi. Like, the character is just his own thing, like he doesn't feel like a Smash character. But he still plays in like a lot of different ways, like Zoner, yeah, he almost feels like a sortie with how you space with the pellets. In general, he's annoying with his item play and projectile play. He really got it all. Yeah, he plays all he wants. Not getting the kill from mid-stage there. Yeah, no, that's but something you gotta work a little harder for. Oh, okay, that's good. I like that. He. Regained composure there, went straight back to neutral by dashing away from him. But at the same time, now he's just eating work from Greninja and Good, died for great a while. patience, in fact, from Adi. He just got put in the movie filter. <laughs> like. Man said, hold up. Speed gear disactivated. I'm Audi, not seeing Audi it. Adi needed a character like this because, like, Fox was good. You know, he's, he's doing it for him. But, like, it, it feels like he needed a little more with Greninja and. Like, it sounds odd to say, but, like, Fox, I feel, is, like, too honest of a character. Like, you gotta put in a lot of work just for a little payoff. And, like, when you're good with Fox, it, sh it really shows. But Greninja gives you that edge. This is a character that's allowed to swing ignorantly if he wants to. Allows you to get creative with your movement, really creative with your whiff punishing, which I feel is really strong in, like, facet of play in uh, Ultimate. Like, Greninja got it where it counts. Fox just has it, but not enough of it. Yeah. And with all that being said, I feel like the transitional period for Adi is over. Like, he's really shown that, like, his Greninja is up there. Well, that was good. <laughs> oh, oh, no! He decided, to, he decided not to not to play Tug of War for a good two moves. That was... He actually... That's understandable. That, that was, like... That's not really a rage quit. That's more like a... I know what's going to happen here. Like, like he I'm had not, no I'm jump. Gonna, he got caught with I'm his own crash this. bomb. He was like, all right, I guess we, we out. All right. So I respect. I respect when people do that. It's like, I got another game. Don't worry about it. I got this. I just need. I just need a minute to think, recompose myself, and not get messed up like that in game one. And he opted immediately take us on over to Battlefield. Great stage for Mega, especially when you got to deal with a squirrely character like uh, Greninja. Because now his up air is going to help deny a ton of space. We already see it coming out before King Ark even really got stuff to say. So Mega Man, I, I feel like he did like lose like easier follow-ups from down throw that he did in four. Like you can't just do like down throw forward airs easily. But he still has down throw back airs. So. Yeah, down throw or bear is like it's a little bit of a tight window, especially against a character who's as leap as as Greninja. But like it's available to him, and he'll be able to hold on to it as a kill option as need be. The spike! Ooh. Hard and knuckle! <laughs> that shit hard. <laughs> you really. That's, uh, that's one of my favorite spike moves in the uh, game. It's like. It's designed the way it is. It's like a projectile spike. It's, it's pretty so cool. So good. I'll smash out a shield, get in him again. See, King Ark's playing more composed now. He's getting his moves in. Playing, you know, the Mega Man game. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> yeah, jumpy shoot, man. Uh, the crash bomb on the ledge still got him because he. Oh, he, he really tried to do it to him at 
All right, King Ark, we, we know you're home. <laughs> we know you're back. Yeah, I'm wondering what the purpose of this card knuckles were. I think he's trying to catch something, but I don't know if he's making money on this It's like he knows that Greninja is going to try to dance around on the ledge. He's going to try to do something silly. And it's more of a vibe check than anything else, because it's like it could kill it on reasonably early percentages. Oh, he tried to go for it again. But also, we could just extend your ledge play. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> he said speed gear. <laughs> Shifted it. Yo, Mega Man 11 type shit here. I like it. Oh, we're out. No, he just we jumped and died. So out. He jumped and died. Classic Mega Man trap. You'll love to see it. That was cute. Like, Will Rust stays chilling under the uh, angel plot. And I see. He just he forces you into it. But solid control and lead by King Arc right here. That, that, like, that little pause that he, need, that he needed like after the first game is working out like perfectly right now. He's just in control. He's getting his follow-ups. Like, he's staying far above the pace that Mega Man is typically known for. And, like, he's not showing any signs of slowing down. He stays swinging. Like Projectiles are keeping him safe. Every dash attack that uh, Audi is doing is getting punished out of shield. Like, he knows what's coming. Like, like, like here, he's just, he just knows. And he's just getting his solid lead here. And all he needs is that one good kill confirm, and he'll just take the stock and go on the game three. Like, there's a very small pool of characters that can really punish uh, Greninja for swinging on shield, but King Ark seems to be very adept at, like, nailing this frog for trying to swing on him. Yeah, like, I feel like if you have a good scooping up smash, like, you're a good character, because then you can, like, punish stuff out of shield with that. Like, for example, Wolf. <laughs> you know, on top of that, one thing we haven't seen yet from uh, King Ark, which is going to be especially dangerous at these climbing percentages, up tilt. Up tilt. If we get to see an opportunity where King Ark can... Oh, there it is. <laughs> right, there we go. I was going to say out of parry, because when you get that sweet spot, that's it. Like Either you do it with the Metal Blade shield drop, the Z-drops, or yeah, Z -drop, you, you, you run up and do it, like, like what he did there. Like He could actually just go in for the duff, but hey, keep on up smashing. It's going to keep on working, and we're right here in game three. That's just Odyssey... Uh, probably not realizing that he's doing it. Where he's just like running up to him with the dash attack, singing, trying to get his follow up started, because that's how Greninja gets most of his follow up started, with dash attack. But that's getting him, you know, hurt, and that got him killed in game, game two. So now we're going to game three, same the same characters, okay. and we're going to Kalos League. Alright, if anything, this will give Adi a lot more space to play, like, his own game. Because even though Mega Man has decent zoning tools, they are, like, Full stage projectiles, like you'd come to expect of other zoners. Like the length of those lemons, that's the space that King Ark is safely controlling. Like you want to be at that range with Mega Man, period. Because that's your mid range. That's where you get like your game started. You don't want to be like too close, because then like like Crash Bomber isn't reliable. Metal Blade, you don't want to really lose having Metal Blade in your hand. The space is too wide for you to realistically control. Oh, oh all right. <laughs> He went high there. <laughs> like, Frog's like being served on the veranda. That is so quick. Thanks, Rush. Where is he going? What was that? <laughs> it might have decided to just up and out. The game's just making up its own rules at this point because that was just. Oh, he's. Oh, that was smart recovery. Smart recovery because I didn't know how he was going to get back. Yeah, something really important to remember is that Mega Man has a pretty solid wall jump and he has a very respectable directional air dodge. Couple that in with already having a neat jump and rush coil for his recovery. There's gonna be a lot of times where King Ark can recover. And he can also leave like Crash Bomber on the wall. And if he times it right, he can use that explosion to also assist his recovery. A lot of little oh. tricks that King Ark can uh, take advantage of on this stage. How did he avoid that floor there? Oh. Trying to back air with the with, uh, neutral B. Whoa. Nice follow up. Mile a minute type play. The parry into nothing? See, that's where parry into up tilt would work. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to do something there. He could have done anything. He, he just, he's like, oh, I parried. <laughs> I miss perfect <Pokemon> shit. <laughs> just, just a side note. <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> Uh, very dangerous game by both players who are trying to get the stock. What's the, the throw kill? Big scoop. Big toss. We out. Benefits but, of being Greninja or Fox right now, that throw kill. It's so yes. important just to be able to close up stocks. Having a throw kill, period, 
It's like you slow it down and be like, all right, I'm just gonna toss you. Yo, if we ever have to deal with Fox with a combo or a kill throw, that's oh my that's God. when you know this problem. I'd, I'd be mad. Like I was already mad at Smash Four Fox. <laughs> I was, he was just beating my ass like over and over again. I'm like, damn, how do I block against this character? <laughs> oh wait, I just block because he's not gonna kill me with a throw. <laughs> like that's when you know we're playing a different game. No less. It's still hard though. It's Fox. Yeah. It's Roll through it? No. Oh, wait, Stay nice. patient. If I remember correctly, you can only get like 10 jabs off before it's a, like completely unsafe interaction. 12. Ooh, cool. Such oh an my arbitrary God. number. What's the play? What's the ah! play? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Take advantage of that's the wall. What, that's, that the wall counter pick. that's the counter pick right there. Mwah. This is like, thank you for saving me. <laughs> Alright, Adi not out of it just yet, but he's definitely uh, looking in pretty rough shape. 102, last stock. King Ark still playing with fire in him. He yeah, missed the swing there, because he jumps. He's full jump. Oh! Ooh. Oh, no. You ever get... <laughs> so scared to see ah! Oh my god. He's looking He's looking for Rard Bear, or so... He's looking for he something. Any follow-up with Metal Blade. You gotta play around this. Perfect time to dash attack there, but he's still not... Oh, spot. get rid of that! Yeah, oh, there we go! Oh, oh no! It's back on you! Ah! He's not dead! He's not dead! The oh no! Ball. He hit! Ah! Crash Bomb messed him up! He thought he was gonna type from it, but I guess he did it too early and died from it. He just wasn't close buffered. enough to the wall. It looked buffered, to be honest. Hold on, Dev, can you can you run that one? Because that, that was just a tiny bit of a scramble. Alright, this is where the mess starts. We see the... Boom! Okay, right he runs into it. So King Ark air dodge is in. You can't do anything. Adi was not close enough to the wall to tech the stage. He wasn't even enough hit stun to realistically be threatened by Crash Bomber. He wasn't going anywhere. But he air dodged out of it. Like he could, if he air dodged up, he would have been five. I think he was expecting to like roll from the ledge. Like he's like, I'm gonna grab the ledge. There's no problem here. 